Welcome to the Empire of this Ramp, and welcome back to my Dominion of Isengard campaign for the Divine Conquer version 5 mod from Medieval 2, where we're going to continue left off from last time, or for our, our World Conquest, where I actually decided to do a poll, and most people still want us to do a World Conquest, so we're going to keep doing that, um, or at this point in time right now, I'm a little worried about the dwarves. You guys are starting to push on in here right now, into my allies, and I hope you don't beat them, <laughs> please. Um... At this point in time, I'm not at war with the dwarves, but I do need to try and prepare, hopefully, for their inevitable possible fight with them. Because I think for right now, we're going to be avoiding the elves for the moment, because they are actually kind of still fighting um, Enwaith. I have recently been able to take Booz of Doom. I'll be able to hopefully get out of here soon and keep pushing. Um, other than that right now, I know we're siege-bound uh, Keras Nunland. You guys should be fine. I have some reinforcements as well yes, around here. I want you guys to make your way over, but not get too close. So... Let's have you... I'm going to hide in the bridge. So we'll get a little bit closer. I'd like to kind of go over here, but we'll just stay around here for right now. Because for right now, we're trying to put a lot of our attention into the lands up here. Basically, we're just going to keep trying to just continuously recruit around here. As long as you guys have recruits, we're going to send them forward. So that way we can keep trying to keep the pressure up on you guys. Um, can I move out these guys? Well, Brick Ghost, uh, I don't want to hold off on that yet just yet, because you guys have been attacked recently, so we'll gather more of you guys together before we try and move you out of this area. Dolvjorn was also attacked recently. I definitely need to have you guys try and retrain your stuff. Then let's try and have it so that, for the most part, we're still going to be continuing to push on into uh, Gondor right now. Um, I'm going to keep... I kind of want to keep sieging this. So trying to buy time for reinforcements... Although we could just hold off and not push on to the Oskiliath right now, because Minas Tirith is the best area for us to defend. No sleeping here. I want to take back the Oskiliath, but I actually think I'm going to lift the siege. It is far more important... And just kill these guys, just for the non-result. It's far more important for me to just hold Minas Tirith and give them a very clear area to try and attack. I'm going to have this with Saruman for right now. Just chill back here, um, and basically just have it so that for right now, um, I need you... Are you not able to get the... Oh, you're at 64%, that's why. Because um, I should have the barracks around here, right? Yeah, so next turn, I'll be able to start trying to train some of my forces around here with you guys. And so, for right now... Um, yeah, you're on the bridge there, at least. Sleeping here. And I just want these guys to move. Because Lynn here, I've been able to get some retraining around here. I'm going to have you guys keep trying to retrain a little bit more. It's like right there. And then these guys for sure need to be retrained. Because for right now... We've been able to take uh, Gobel Tofloss, but you guys are not plagued, which is great. Um, I will at least have it so... Let's just pick you up here. Uh, oh, I already have an there. army in there. Ooh, I forgot about that. Um, okay, so let's move these guys here. And then let's see, so this one had how many guys in there? Uh, not enough. Okay, so let's go here for right now. You drop these guys off. You get on there. And I can't get to the area I want to just yet. So, we'll have it. So, next turn, we're going to try and go for Baird Harn. I want to kill Dol and Ron. So, we're going to try and go for them. Just focus on taking out their cities that are very vulnerable for right now. And keep trying to keep the pressure up on them. Because for right now, I'm not at war with you guys. I'm going to hope that we can avoid that. If anything, I think for our world conquest, I'm not opposed to trying to get other people to work with me. So I'm not opposed to trying to see if we can get the Ardunadine to work with us and then eventually like, conquer them and get rid of them later. So you right here, if I have to, I will offer them a shit ton of money. So well, let's try and go down here for right now. We're going to try and see if I can get an alliance with the forces of the Ardunadine. Um, Endwaith we're still going to have to kill... Uh, Angmar, I'm going to be killing for sure because I want that land. And then the, only, the other evil people are dead. So let's try and see if we can get allies in the form of uh, our Dunadime. Canned, I'm also neutral with, so we could try and get an alliance with them. Same with Harad. Like, I can try and unite the forces of evil behind me um, before we try and fully go in and, like, conquer the world. I'm not opposed to that idea. Um, so for right now... That's all of you guys. Yeah, because you guys will be making your way over soon. So all of you guys make your way over next turn. I think we'll just keep trying to gather more men over this way. So I've got you. Uh, I've got you. Ed Haland also has some units as well that they can bring on over this way. You're good, you're good. Uh, Calumble has a lot of stuff. So we're going to try and move all of... Let's, see, let's do this. So all of you guys... 
also make your way over here. We're trying to put all of my attention currently into Dolomroth. I'm going to have it so that with the forces around Minas Tirith, just going to hold that here. We're going to ignore these territories for right now, and we'll just keep trying to build up Saruman's army. Everybody else, all forces, are pushing down south. We need to put a lot of attention into one area. We'll keep uh, passively expanding up here because we do need to keep putting pressure onto the forces of Enwaith, and I think at least against them, we have a far better chance of just like, hey, slowly enemy. push the front forward. Like, we've slowly been taking them out because if I go to... Like, their military... That's... Hmm, I don't like that. But territorially wise they've stagnated they have been taking land but for the most part i have been able to somewhat kind of like slow their advance all right so here they come for krasnundled once more uh this army here let's see so these are archers they do have one cad unit um i don't have anybody I'll try and get them off of their siege equipment um I might have to, like, sacrifice you and you, because you guys are, like, the weakest units I have. I don't have the garrison building around here just yet. We've been working on trying to get that, but it's just not done yet. So, I think we'll have to use those two units that are already pretty beat up anyways. I have reinforcements coming over this way. So, start deployment. And let's see. So, we want to be over here. And hopefully, like that uh, the siege tower, actually, um, I can just shoot with ballistas. So, let's get you guys down off of the walls. I have... I do not have a lot of infantry. I've got you, basically. I've got basically you. These two I'll use to try and get them to drop their stuff. And then, ideally, my skirmishers will be enough to be able to kind of hold them at bay. So, like, I'll get uh, some of you guys up here. I have you guys on the walls as well, so you can have some more additional men on the walls to help out in melee. So, that'll be these three. Everybody else, try and get kind of... I'll have to adjust the case later. Ballistas, I think, are fine up here, so I can get you guys to be able to try and shoot the Siege Tower. Destroy that. Nazgul, I need you guys to group up. I'll have you kind of nearby around here, where I'm hopefully going to be able to get them to all be blobbed up. So, let's get you guys to group up here. All of these crossbows and skirmishers just kind of be around this area. And then these two, yep, you're right next to the gate. So, just run on out. I'll try and have it so that you guys are going to try and mainly get them off of the ram. Because Ballistas... I want to have it so for right now. We want to try and put you guys here, 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 here. Ballista, try and go. I'll try and go over this way a little bit. You guys can get just set up right there. Um, that's all my skirmishers. Uh, you need to move two as well. Uh, try and be, like, over here. And yeah, you guys just kind of go for the ram. Go for the ram, you need to move. Uh, you also need to move as well. And then ballistas. Try and focus fire that siege tower. Try and focus that down. And then ideally, yeah, you guys just get them to drop the ram. Are they moving to another spot? Fuck, they are. Okay, uh, some of my crossbows then actually, uh, you four go over this way. Because you guys will be going over to this section of this, the walls. Uh, one of my ballistas I can try and send over here as well. I'll leave, uh, this one here to try and shoot this siege tower. Number-wise, let's see, so far I've taken out 3% of their army so far. Just need to get everybody into position. If anything at all. Like, you guys are firing, right? There you go. So you are opening fire onto the siege tower. Okay, good. So keep trying to do that. Focus it down. And then hopefully these guys will be enough to help stop basically the guys that go over here for the ladder. This ballista, you're going to try and just go over here and shoot this siege tower. Uh, number wise, 7 to 3. So off to a good start. And I just need to see them blob up. At least we're going to get some good damage here with you guys. Yeah, this is already at 47%. Just don't disembark yet. Oh, you need to keep firing. You need to fire into that siege tower. You need to hit this siege tower spot. If anything at all, you need to shoot these units that are around here. So keep firing. You need to destroy it. There we go. Okay, so only a couple of them got onto the walls. Those guys are going to break, so that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, do try and fire... Uh, I'm going to hold off on that. No, do, do fire over into this spot. So fire in there. These skirmishers as well. Start firing to you guys. Uh, you're in melee, but you're going to be finishing those guys off. You should be okay. Get you guys up. 
Guard mode on. Yeah, all of you. You need to fire into these guys here. This ballista needs to hit this siege tower. Let's see, 29 to 10 so far. I do see a decent blob of you guys around here, though. So I think... Let's pull you guys back a little bit to get a better angle with my Nazgul. So, like, right about there. Open fire. Um, I'm going to use cease fire for a second. Because I don't want to destroy the walls just yet. Yeah, just let the Nazgul kind of do their thing. Get cease fire. Let more of them get blobbed up there. Uh, you guys need to try and adjust this a little bit. Because you're kind of just shooting each other right now. Yeah, like right there. Yeah, angle like that. Then fire into the ballista tower. Let's see each other. Um, let's see. So the guys that were on the ladders are pretty much dead. Uh, open fire into the guardsmen there. I've seen a couple other guys this way. They lost a third of their army already, though. So now if we can just get rid of this. It's so burned. I'm just going to take these guys out. These ladders are... Still present here. Can't do much about that. But at least these units aren't making their run to the wall. And I think for right now... Like, we're good. We just have to see where they're bringing their main blobs. And I can use the Nazgul to take them out. Alright. So we were able to hold. Once more. A little more damage than I would have liked there. But again, I don't have the garrisons around here. So we had to actually fight them in melee. Um, I have reinforcements that are just nearby. So hopefully they won't siege me. Uh, if they do... We maybe go on the offensive, actually. Because with the reinforcements, if they're in range, um, I will have enough, I have more than a full stack army. So we can go on the full on the offense and try and take out their forces. Because I want to keep pushing. I want to keep trying to have it so that I, I basically, hey, we take a city, get reinforcements, then once we have a full stack army again, that's when we keep pushing with the forces of Kamul and with uh, the Witch King of Angmar. Because as long as we can keep that up, Rinse, repeat. Just keep giving them reinforcements and keep letting them push forward. We can do this rather well. It's a very different way that we have to figure about conquering the world as the Isengard forces, as opposed to with Mordor. Mordor had it so that all of the evil factions were working with me, so I really got to focus down evil factions one after another after another. I mean, good guy factions one after another after another. Um, with Isengard, we have to fight everybody, basically. There are a couple factions, like I've been able to keep the Dunlendings uh, happy with me this entire time, but I don't have many allies. So we've actively just go one at a time, slowly but surely we've been whittling down factions. We've killed a few, not a ton, um, but we have been able to do quite a bit of damage to them. And the more I take out, the more things will start snowballing for us, because our units are good. The Isengard units are, I would say some of the strongest evil guy faction units in this mod. Because um, Mordor doesn't have great units. Um, Dol Guldur does not have good units. Harads are, are okay. Uh, mine are better, I'd say. Um, there's Rune, but Rune's dead. Rune's got good units, but their, their units are dead. Uh, Arjuna Dime definitely has good units. But uh, they're very small, and they're just focused on that one tiny little area. I do have some more reinforcements, though, around Lundir. Let's grab all of you. Keep making my way up. We'll grab the troops that are around Pregost and keep making my way forward. Um, so they are siege me currently now around Busudum. Do I have the garrison building? I do have the basic garrison building, so you guys should be able to do fine around there. I just need to keep trying to get to you some reinforcements, which is basically what you're going to be doing. Because right now I've got all of you. Um, Argand. I can't retrain that, but I can have you recruit a little bit more. And you're about to be able to get that. Yep, because that's almost done around there. Okay. These guys, yeah, they didn't siege me. So, let's see. So, need two turns until that finishes up. Um, and I also want to get the arm upgrades there. Okay, so I can bring you guys over. And we'll start getting ready to go for Core Willishar. Um, there's not a lot of infantry in this army. I have so many fucking crossbows. I'll merge those men together. Um, basically, we have to wait here at least two turns until I can move out. And then, let's see, most of the action. Construction report. It's all good. Hostage seized. Tarad and Gondor. We don't care about you guys. Um, you guys are spreading out, which is interesting. Again, I'm hoping I get an alliance with you guys. If I can get an alliance with the Arduino Dime and use that for right now, I think that'll be really good for us. So, you're right there. Mothrat. You need at least a couple turns to get down here. I should now have enough movement. Yes, I do. So, Barret Harn. So, we can go, like, right here. Drop off. I can easily take you out. Just a generic general. Just let the autos all handle that. 
Barret Horn is now mine. And then, uh, sack that territory. And since I took, like, no damage, basically what we'll do is just get the Shrine of Melkor here immediately. Because what I'd like to do, since you guys took literally no damage, um, this fleet does have enough movement. Ooh, can you not stand there, please, like that? I don't want you to hit me here. Um, let's see what this is what we're going to do. So you have some guys here. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm going to bring my forces back. I'm gonna grab you. And then you... I've got some ballistas in here too, so I can actually use this as an additional army. Um, because I can send some of you guys back to go group up with more people than you can. Um, but this force here, they have that's eight, that's level nine, so we can grab eleven guys. So let's grab you four. Get ready for fighting. These guys. Put them on to. Oh, you can't move right now. Oh, you can't. Okay. So I'll just grab you back here for right now, because these guys are at least safe on the boat for right now. We'll get some more troops over there soon. Uh, kind of go around it this way. Because um, we just don't want to fight that force. But basically we'll just try and drop those guys off over here as soon as possible. So that I can keep pushing with the Sycophant. So you guys can keep trying to push forward. And we're just going to try and have it so we'll go like towards Gobel Mirland. Although I might want to wait on that until I can actually talk to the forces of the uh, Ardunadain. Because I want to see if I can get an alliance with them. Just for now. Just, just so I don't have to worry about them attacking me in the south. I'll probably try and do the same thing with... Because how do they feel about me? I have not checked on these guys at all this entire campaign, basically. So, you guys actually love me. Relations perfect. So they love me. Um, Harad, so-so. So they might not ally with me. Canned, good. I might be able to get those guys to like me and actually work with me. So that way we don't have to worry about the south as much. That's the hope. So for right now, though, Barret Harn is under our control. Uh, Gobel Tofloss, you're just still trying to like build this area up and stop having plague um, so that you will be able to move out of here. It's only at 10% right now. You didn't even, yeah, you weren't able to get a priest, a spy around here, I mean. Uh, not what I want, but that's okay. Let's just keep trying to gather more forces around here because, again, we're trying to put a lot of pressure on to Dolomroth and the south down here. As if we can clear up the southern area, we can then push north. Because I have a good area to hold from. I can really easily hold down around here for quite a while. Uh, you you need to unionize. <laughs> unionize around there. Although I think now at this point, now you guys can get all the recruits around here. Yeah, I can put you guys onto growth build policy. It's just I need to focus on you guys myself until you guys can recruit everything. Then I can put you guys on growth build policy. So that's good for you guys. Minas Tirith here. Uh, you guys can actually get some more recruits around here, so gladly try and grab some troops. You'll keep trying to just defend Minas Tirith the best you can, in case they decide to continue attacking you. And I'll slowly be building up uh, your force around here, Saruman. I need to just get you some more infantry, so we'll have it so you can help out Minas Tirith if they need it. If they don't, you'll just keep trying to build yourself up, while we have the Nazgul keep trying to focus on the south. So for right now, though, get ready for you guys are a couple fighting. turns away. I still see me about and far by it, but I got more troops around here this time. I will. Let's see, do I want to move those guys forward? I can keep you around there for right now. Keep gathering more forces together, and eventually these guys will probably go over to go help out the forces of uh, the Witch King. Alrighty, so here they come once more for Tharbad. Uh, this should be okay, I think. This uh, I do have three units of defenders, so with what they've got here, I think we'll be fine. Just depends on as long as they drop the ram. As long as they drop the ram, we're good. So let's get on in here and repel them once more. Are they actually going to be attacking from this angle where I have even more guys? Yes, they are. Beautiful. So this is the area that has even more towers active, so we'll be pretty okay. I'd say. So what we're going to want to do is get everybody off the walls. Um, I want to be at this letter. I, I can ignore the siege towers, actually, because if this area has so many towers, we should be okay. So we'll put you guys here. Um, one of you here for right now. One of you will still go forward to try and get them off of the ram. We still do need to do that. But I can now have it so that uh, skirmishers get you guys on the side here to help here. And here. And then I'll try and have, like, you can be here, I guess. So that will be all of my skirmishers. Right there. Siege equipment. Um, might be able to do something from over here. So we can try and get you guys to go over this way. You might be able to do something. Um, but then, for the most part, it's just going to be 
all of my infantry besides you guys. Uh, I'll try and get more of you guys up onto the walls to kind of help out around over here because this is going to be the main area we're going to be defending. So we'll put all of you guys around there. Start the battle, but let's get you forward because I just need you to get them to drop. Uh, yeah, those letters are fine. Because yeah, the siege tower should be destroyed easily enough. But yeah, we'll have you kind of go right there, kind of run on forward. I'll put some more of my men over on this side though too. Because I do have some garrison here. As long as you guys, you might go for the wall over here. But I'm going to help you go here. Because if you go right there, I do have this other garrison unit. I can try and just get other units up onto this section. The siege tower should be destroyed. I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. Let's get you guys up here, here, here. And you two can just kind of be down on the ground waiting. See, so you're good as you are. Uh, the siege tower is already at 20%. Ram is making its way forward. You guys, yep, close the gates, and then just kind of hold here. That should get them to drop the ram, um, and hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. Hopefully it will be, uh, you'll drop it. You do with the guys here that I'm a little worried about. Yeah, speed this up. Bring the siege towers in. Yeah, that one's burning. That one's at 40%. They're going to a different spot. Exactly what I want. You guys are breaking. Uh, I'm going to try and have you run over here. Oh, they dropped it. Never mind. Never mind. Can't destroy this one. Okay, so they are still going to use that ladder. Um, actually, do you have an angle? Let's bring you over here. I wonder if you guys have an angle to try and shoot those uh, ladders. Maybe the siege tower, because I'd love if you guys could take that out. Because once the towers can start focusing on the ladders, those should be destroyed. Um, they're already going to start kicking some of them down. Beautiful. And you did get them to drop the ram, so perfect. 18% right now to 8. That is not bad. Just need to mainly need to kick you guys down here. The siege tower is almost destroyed there. Come on, get rid of there. No, siege tower is destroyed. Can you guys shoot the, ra the ladders? Technically you can. You just need to get a little bit closer. I just don't know how well that's going to do for your angle, but you can try it. Because you guys can try that. Uh, you guys should move over here a little bit more. Ballista's same deal. Try and focus on these ladders. Because the faster we can break those down, the better. don't like how they're milling with my skirmishers, but I think that's okay. I'll just try and get all of you guys. Try and run over here. Also, I might damage my own wall sections by shooting this spot, but that's fine. There we go. So at this point in time, we've now been able to kick down pretty much every ladder. Yeah, there's one ladder left. Good chunk of their army is actually routing. Like, they've already lost two-thirds of their army so far. So at this point in time, now we just need to keep trying to do what damage we can with my skirmishers and artillery pieces. And I'm just going to try and make sure that the towers are active. Because I might be able to hit some of these cab units, too. And there we go. So they almost opened the gates because my ballistas were idiots. Uh, but for the most part, hey, we've been able to hold our bad once more. Did a lot of damage. A lot of damage right there. And uh, most of that should just be... Well, my archers took some damage, but they're pretty easy to retrain. Yeah, most of the units that we took damage on are easy to retrain. So that's fine. Yeah, so so, so Tharbad will hold it once more. And I want, I want to see lasting damage against Enwith. Like, that's the one thing that is, like, because this... Is, like, if I would have been able to focus just all my attention just on Enwith, like, if I threw everybody at Enwave. Similar to how like with Mordor, I was able to really easily focus one faction down at a time really easily. Uh, I imagine that if I was sending all my Nazgul at Enwave, I think they'd be fucking dead by now. But the fact that I've had to split my attention a little bit is why we've been having a harder time trying to finish people off. That's why I'm trying to have it so that all of my forces I'm putting so much attention onto Dalmoth right now. Because like Ever, ever since we had Kamul and Angmar start this war against Enemyth, we have been pushing them back. We have seen continuous, small progress into their lands, which is good. Um, and at the moment right now, I have it so that, like, yeah, we're pushing more of my forces down into Dalmoth. I hate that, like, why did Zagar and everybody have to get plagued on that fucking island? That's great. Uh, Minas Tirith, yeah, go for it. Fucking go for it. That's fine. Again. Minas Tirith would be a great way to distract Gondor. I don't think that we have to worry about that at all right now. And so, for the most part, we'll just keep using that as a lure. 
and really focus on them down south. Because if I can get the alliance with the Arduna Dime and use them to help me take the south, I am pretty okay with that. Because right now, if I take that, we secure the southern section of the map. I, If I remember correctly, I don't think the Arduna Dime will die if I just take their cities. Because, like, I could, technically, kill off Dalm Roth, then quickly try and blitz the forces of um, the Arduna Dime. Don't think that'd work. Again, I could just, like, blitz the cities, take them all at once. But I don't think... I think they're considered, like, a horde faction, so their armies would still survive. I can't remember from other times that I've killed them in campaigns, if taking their cities would destroy them. I could have sworn they're technically considered a horde faction. A gift, thank you. Um, so back down here, what we want to do is, so you right now are going to drop off here. These guys are going to be, or they not moving? No, they do, they're just barely. So you're going to go into the city. You'll watch over this for us for right now. Get the uh, garrison built up there, and then just start slowly converting this area. I'll have the sycophants. I'll have you try and go towards Global Mithlond. Um, this guy's still making his way down here. We get there around the same time. Otherwise, I'm in a thill. I don't ignore that. Yeah, let's, let's make our way down over to Global uh, Global Mirland. So make your river there. You can then make your way back over here. Ah, they're still in the way. But I think if I do this. Because this is our maker. We're sitting in the port. That's where we're safe. Um, I do wonder if I have any more boats around here somewhere. Let's see. Let's check. There's a boat. So there's another boat. So I can have you go try and group up in a second. Um, I think it's probably going to be the same area as this one, so there's probably no boats around here. Nope, no boats. Uh, I don't have any generals. Well, you... Uh, no boats. Uh, let's see. Bad over here. No boats. I don't think I have any other boats. No. Well, get you the ghost. Nope, no boats. I don't see anything around here then. Uh, Tharbad, let's keep trying to make sure that you guys uh, try and repair the walls first. Then start trying to retrain your stuff around here. There you go. And then for right now... No sleeping here! Let's finish this turn. So we will have at least some garrison troops around here. And I want to try and push on and just go on the offensive. Um, Get ready for fighting. You're making your way over here. I can at least have you grab... Let's see, so you've got... Nine cells, so let's grab like, these guys. So those guys, they'll go over towards Kamul. Um, this area... Let me get better troops around here, but I can't... I'm not going to send those guys out just yet. Get some more around here. Sent over... Um, this one with you as well. Ulsfood. I'm surprised that Ulsfood does not make as much money as I was expecting it to. I know in other campaigns it's made me so much money. It's so weird for me that it doesn't make a ton right now. Okay. But for right now, at least, yeah, this army will go that's over so here. Yeah. This will siege me. Yeah, this will siege me at Booster Gym. So they're still doing that. Siege at Minas Tirith, that's fine. We kind of expected that. And then, do we still have that plague over down here? At least it's stopping. No, it's still going on. Ugh. Well, at least this is almost done. So once that militia garrison is built up, then uh, you guys... I'll probably focus on the Shrine of Melkor a little bit, because you guys need to get some more conversion around here before you can move out. So right now it's going to be the Sycophant mainly leading the assault down or the front down here. So like you'll be able to take Gilbo or Lawn next turn. And then... Again, I'm just hoping we can avoid it with you guys. If anything, one idea I have uh, to guarantee an alliance with them is I could go and take Fainoble and gift that to them to get an alliance if they're a bit hesitant. Alrighty, here they come for Boozadoom. Let's see, so you guys, a bunch of basic infantry here. Should be good. I've got the garrison guys, so we'll be able to get them off of their siege equipment and everything else. So let's do this. Let's slaughter these guys, push them back once more. And then we'll be trying to get my reinforcements over here soon. Because then uh, we want to go for Harland first out of these territories. So if we go west that way first, um, that should be kind of a, a good way to kind of secure the coast more for us. Um, let's see, so they are all over here. 
don't know if you guys are going to try and wander around like they've been doing recently. I do have ballistas, so we can try and have it so... Um, put a ballista over here. I want to try and put them over there. Um, so that you guys can try and focus on getting rid of the siege towers. Because you might try and go around this way. You might try and go around that way, possibly. But we'll just try and get you guys up here. Uh, we'll put at least one of you up on the walls. Oh, I can't even put you on the walls initially. Okay, well, I'll move you. Uh, this guy will stay down on the ground. I'll have my crossbows and archers back here. You guys do not want to move where I want you. Okay, so just move back here. I'll adjust you guys once the battle starts. So right there. It's all about you guys. I missed one. Should be this guy. There we go. So you could be right there. These guys just kind of be down on the ground over here initially. And I'll adjust you guys in a second. Start the battle. Let's have you running out. Kind of go like right there. You run over here. And then ballistas. Try and go up here. And here, what the hell's this one? This one's way the hell away. So you make your way over there, and then we want to have it so that some of my other infantry units get up onto the walls around here, or actually hold off a little bit. Let's see if you guys can get back on a little bit there. Skirmishers, though, I'll try and adjust you so you properly have some better line of sight. Looks like right there, right there, right there, right there there and there also you need to cease fire don't 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 throw don't use your ammo up yet i want to wait until they're blobbed up um move over here there you go okay so then maybe we'll drop that they are all going to the same spot so we just need to have it so that we'll adjust my ballistas as soon as you guys are in position i'll try and have it so you might be able to already you're too far away. But basically, I'll try and have you open up on this tower. Uh, this one needs to focus on the other tower as well. Even if they get up onto the walls, um, I think we'll be okay because I can just have, like, Kamuhu, you're just gonna, like, open up on these guys and just destroy them once then. Oh, no, this one at least dropped. So that one at least dropped, so we just need to destroy this one. Which, you guys, as soon as you're in range, just start shooting it. You guys just need to move a little bit off to the side, and I can have you start firing into it as well. Come on. Fire! Come on. Do it while they have the unit on the ballista, the siege tower. The battle is very there you much go. In so you guys are firing Fresh properly. Uh, this ballista's still moving, and you guys are fucking horrible shots! Hit the siege tower. Come on, guys. I need you to hit the damn thing. Because at this point in time right now, and they're trying and failing to get on the walls. Awesome. Ah, oh, perfect. Now you guys finally started on fire. So, just keep firing into the guys that did get onto the walls. Everybody else will be killed. And then now, we're just holding here as best we can. Because at the moment right now... Oh, they've got a good blob around there. No, they're going to come for the ladders. Yeah, let's let them go for the ladders. Wait until they blob up enough. Then I'll throw stuff at them. So the only guys left are these forces over here. Send my Nazgul over. You can now all start unloading into them to just finish them off. They've already lost two-thirds of their army overall at this point in time. And if I can just get you guys to break here with the uh, grenades, this should be end the end of the battle. Because they don't have much. Hey, you've got a little bit more here. Because you got a lot of guys over here. And I have no more ammo in my other units, though, sadly. Alrighty. Good job, guys. Be able to hold once more. Most of the damage was dealt primarily to so... Yeah, it was just all the defenders. All the defenders died. That's fine. We don't care about the defenders. But there. So we're going to hold around Booster Doom once more. Uh, reinforcements on are, are on their way over here. So we will be able to start trying to push out once more with Kamul's army. Um, I know we could probably move this turn with Angmar. I want to have you guys get a little bit more before we moved. Yeah, because we can probably move out with the Witch King of Angmar, have him go north, and have it so that he'll push into the next city that he can find. And hopefully... I wonder, how is their, how is their econo economic standing doing? Because if I can do enough damage to the economy of Enway, they won't be able to continuously throw as many armies as they have. Like, it does eventually correlate. Even if the AI gets a bunch of fucking cheats, eventually they have to kind of pay for the troops. So, maybe if I'm They're taking enough land, we'll finally start doing damage to them in that regard. 
Because that's my hope, at least right now. God, you guys are just They're attacking the camp! Tharbad's fine. Um, I am a little worried about Dolvjorn, although I have reinforcements on the way over there soon, so I think maybe they'll be okay. I have another General's Bodyguard here. I will accept you. New mission, take Gobel. Hey, I'm already doing that. So I will gladly be doing that right now. You are almost here. Again, I'm worried about, like, hey, once you board them, I might open up the war with them, but hopefully it doesn't. Let's see, so you guys here. Yep, no bodyguard, uh, no garrison. I'm just going to take the out resolve. So then Gobel Mirlon is going to be mine. Get some money from that. There we go. Let's repair everything and then get the um, Shrine of Melkor. Am I able to get a spy around here? I am. So start trying to grab that. But yeah, so we're siege around Dol of Yorn. Uh, might be okay. Um, I am sending these forces over right now. So you'll be making your way over. You'll be able to get there in about a turn. At least the next to the city next turn. Um, over here then, Argond, I'm sieged. I've got, we at least have the basic garrison. Yeah, so we've got the basic garrison. I think you should be okay. You've got that. Tharbad we know is okay. They have a pretty good garrison themselves. I am now the strongest faction, hell yeah. That's what I want to see. So now, at least, um, let's see. So I want to check, does Anulon is rate upgrade? Let's queue that up before I forget about that. And then put that back under growth pool policy. But no, I am I am curious. So Enwaith right now. So yeah, the military is going up again. Production has been going down. Again, territorially, we've been able to keep them less than 15. Financially, it looks like they're pretty poor, actually. It's hard to tell, because who the fuck is the richest right now? Is that Mordor? No, that's not Mordor. Are they die? No, not them. Can't. Dark Lord? Not, no, who, wait, is it Kaz Yeah, it's Kazadoom. Of course it is. Kazadoom has 1.6 fucking million. God, if I could convince them to be my vessel, I would love that. I'd get so much money from that. Let's see. So, if we did that, so we are now starting to push on in here a little bit more. Um, Dolm Roth is pulling back away from us. Pulling back. I, I appreciate that. They have a lot of armies, though. Uh, it makes me kind of concerned on Summer Guard. Still sieging me around Minas Tirith, that's fine. You, you guys shouldn't be able to win that fight if you assault us there. Um, let's go back up here, though. So... You guys at least now have that. Um, I want to try and push forward. I want to I go to Kor Willishar. So you guys are just in the way. He's right there. So if I take this guy, so let's just move you. You'll be back. You'll be pushed back. I leave you behind. So the area's a little pissed off right now, but hey, lower the taxes, they're fine. Um, there are some mercenaries. I don't have money for right now, but if I attack you, this one I can do night battle, and then it's just me versus you. That's fine. That should be yeah. That's that's not that bad. So let's let's fight you first. We'll fight this ourselves. Kill this army off. And then have it so that what we can do is, with this army and then the other army together, that rep, that uh, force that doesn't have a general's bodyguard, they should run. They should run, and then I should also have made a path to get the core Willishar. So I just don't know if I have enough movement to get there this turn, though, is the question. I have <laughs> no fucking infantry. Who fucking cares? So they're really far back. So what we're going to do is... Man, they're really far back. Hell over there. Okay, so I'll start moving my forces forward slowly. So I'll try and make my way up this way. Get my infantry to move up a little bit as well. And then basically we just need to try and get them into position so I can just freely unload on them with just my skirmishers for the most part. Because they don't have a lot. Like, hey, I'll take out the Jones bodyguard pretty easy with my Nazgul. And then if you guys get in melee, yeah, like my crossbow's going to do decent in melee still. Alright, so they are now in range. Now we can start trying to open fire into you guys. So start unloading into the enemy force. 9% of their forces are already dead. Uh, are you guys actually being shot by my ballistas? Yes, you are. Okay, but let's just back up a little. Nazgul, move you guys off to the side a little bit here. They're starting to make their way forward. I have the one unit of infantry. Uh, I'll have to have my Nazgul. You guys will be going after the captain, who... Well, first and foremost, I'll have you do with this cab, actually. Because let's have uh, you... I don't have that much ammo. Let's 
So you throw here. Rich King, you're gonna go around here and try and hit these guys. Israel Skirmisher is back there. I'm gonna try and scream though, because that does negatively affect their morale. Those get broke. Okay. Keep making my way over here. Third of their army is dead now at this point in time. General's bodyguard is uh, the Clan Herald. So let's focus my attention onto you guys with my Nazgul. Because you're around this area. And try and see if we can kill you and then the rest of these guys and get them to break. Right, the Clan Heralds. Clan Heralds, please. He's still at 12. Okay. Let's have, um... So for right now... I have no infantry left. Oh, God. Bulls to the ceasefire. Ceasefire. Or if you're going to fire, fire way back here at the skirmishers where I can easily get rid of them. Um, just bodyguard's now dead. Yeah, they're starting to break. Now we need to try and get a melee with their skirmishers, if we can. I'll try and have it so, like, some of you... Ceasefire for now. Some of you get a little bit closer. Like right there. I'll try and get you into melee. Because this is all they have left now. They've got lost 70% of their army already. At this point in time, I'll try and just slowly move up some units a little bit closer so they have better angles on these guys. So you move right there, you move right there. And then unload point-blank range into them. There you go. Now let's move the rest of you up as well. These guys up there. 81% are dead. I just need to get you guys break. And I do have this back. And use that. Some of them are stunned. Get closer. You guys also get closer as well. And let's see, that's now up to 87%. So as soon as they give up, which they're pretty close. Yeah, there we go. So we are currently at 88. Let's continue just a little bit longer. Get a little bit more. Get a couple for volleys off. Yeah, so we can get up to a little bit higher. So there we go. And then 250 casualties on my side. It's mainly my infantry. <laughs> I feel so sorry that like this one unit, he healed 10 guys. So that's not much. Oh my god. I'm literally just running around with just skirmishers in this campaign. That wasn't even my intention. It's never my intention. It's just crossbows, crossbows, more crossbows. Like it's not a bad unit to have a ton of. Especially when they have their armor upgraded, like my um, my my Uruk crossbows can stand their own in melee. They they actually can against like a dwarf hell no uh, or an elf unit no, but against basic infantry units they're not that bad. But, you know, so that army's now dead. Now we'll have it so we'll group up with my other force, uh, beat back the other little army they've got. Because now if I go here, he's gonna run. But I... How the fuck is that bounce power so low? Okay, let's bring you in here just so we have more. Actually, oh, are you fucking kidding me, game? I might have lost that many, but okay. Merge, merge. God, that's such a weak-ass army now. I should have... Fucked mm, me. I will be mushy pushing. Corvillashar is right there. Do they try and push on in there? They might. It's possible. Um... Okay, I need to double check. Let's see. So try and get some stuff over here. I don't have any extra free up units around here. Not around here. I do in Fulberg. Like you guys have a bit. Isengard's got some that can move. So I should have you guys keep training those units just yet. Um, I should move these units out though. I don't want to have them just sit there like that. Let's grab, um, so five units. So let's grab these five. So these five. Make your way over. I'm gonna try and get you over to the uh, Witch Gang. So you guys try and make your way over here to Sudori. Try and gather around over there. And then I also have, I don't need to give you more reinforcements right here. So these guys. Also make your way over to Sudori, because you'll be sent over to reinforce the Witch King down here. Yeah, I just want to reduce my presence around here a little bit. I want Okay, you guys are happier here. 
I don't have any money right now, but I do want to have it so that we'll try and get a, sh a better Temple of Melkor. I'm just going to queue it up so I don't forget. Um, get that so you guys can convert faster. And I do at least have the basic garrison, so like once this area is happy and I can leave here, I can bring you guys down. And then my diplomat, it'll be next turn we're going to try and see, can I get an alliance with the Arduino Dime? attacking me again where I don't want them to. Um, so first and foremost, yes. guys, you wish to how do you feel about an alliance? Actually, no, let's do this first. Trade rates. Now I'll offer money to it. I want to make sure this goes through. Actually, no, I'll do this. Let's make a single payment. Let's just offer you a thousand gold. A thousand gold. It's only balanced. It's good Accepted. To see you okay. Could reach okay. Another Trade rates. Yeah, Accepted. Okay. Okay. Proposals. Alliance. No, we okay. cannot have another word. Alliance, and I'll offer Excellent. money. So let's offer uh, regular tribute. Offer you a hundred gold for a thousand turns. How about that? This isn't going to. Happen. It's worth a shot. Um, I'm trading with them at least. So that's something. I do not mind the idea of me trying to have it so that I could go take Feynable and give that to them as a gift to, in, uh, in return for an alliance. So we could try and do that. So, especially with um, a fleet, because I'll be bringing you over around this way. So we're like right there for right now. These guys need to make their way down. Um, so let's go right here. So go right there. Drop off and then just keep making your way down south and try and keep following the sycophant basically. Uh, you're still trying to get the shrine of Melkor there. This is being built up there now. Good. Um, but basically, what we'll do is I have all of these guys. Let's grab like these guys here. This force will need to be picked up as well. Actually, I can have you go with this one boat here. And then I'll have you guys. Try and make your way over here, sit in the fort for right now until I can pick you up. Same kind of deal with all of these guys. There, there, there. Lin here and uh, Faniel are doing far better now. Uh, I think I will let you guys be controlled by growth build policy. Same thing with over here now that you guys can build stuff. So put that on the growth build policy there. Um, but what I'm going to try and do right now, because you guys are sieging me over here, I don't have a good garrison. But I want to see if I can go on the offensive instead of focusing on being defensive as much. You guys can try and take that. Go ahead. I, let's see, let's do this. So what we want to do, let's see if we can lure them out of the city. So if we attack from here, Come on. it doesn't run. Good. So that way I can try and see if I can kind of camp you guys off the map, push on into the city, and then hopefully because... I think this might protect the city they're sieging right now. So that way they're not directly bordering that settlement. They might back off. If not, I will try and ignore it and see if I can have my reinforcements at some point deal with it. But yeah, let's go over here. So we're going to go like right here. I'm not going to be able to be as close as I'd like, but I can get pretty close to the edge of the map. So if you guys go here, here, I have a lot of cavalry. Now a lot of infantry. Um, you guys go up there. At least I'll be able to run you guys down. Uh, but the Nazgul over here. So start deployment. We want to then move my infantry closer. So get forward. Here, here. Nazgul over to the side. Cap off to the other side. Then ballistas move up as well. So we'll do this. Because if we can just have it so that we're as aggressive as possible, that is a way to try and have focus on defense in some regard. Uh, best offense is a great defense. That's what we're trying to focus on, essentially. Because right now, I could turn around and go hit that other army that was besieging us, but I think we're going to get more out of trying to hit this area. So infantry, you're pushing forward. Number-wise, you are in range to start firing. Uh, you should cease fire. I want you guys to wait until I see blobs. You got one shot off. You did kill the enemy general that though. So that's not bad. So for right now though, just kind of leave them alone. I'm going to try and get my cab to go around the back side. Get you guys over here. Because if anything, I want to make sure we run them all down. So they don't get to go back into the city. 
So if we can have you just kind of get around the back side here, starting to form up. So the cat can go there. And as cool, I see a big ass blob forming. So we're gonna go right here. We want to throw stuff into those guardsmen. Cav is just getting into position. And they're almost in position. Ignore those warriors there. Ignore those warriors there. Let's go inside. You now throw into these guardsmen. And basically, we want to have it so that what we do is we train to use his scream. Oh, they're going to charge him here. Yeah, break you assholes. It is a permanent morale shot. So I'm just going to do it now. And I need you guys a little bit closer. Now I'm going to ignore these border guard for right now. And I want to get closer to right here. Right there. Nazgul. Start firing over here. Kind of into this blob. Right there. Kind of wish I could see better. And then try and charge around here. So we're trying to get this to be around the same time that we're throwing. We're charging. I need to. Oh, they're fighting to the death. Broken. There we go. Brave Rain. I think we can just save our ammo. Yeah, because you guys then. Uh, okay, you guys actually throw this unit. Because that unit's trying to flank us a little bit. And number wise, it's a third of their army now. Yeah, get those guys to just run away. Yeah, these guys are fighting to the death. 52% are dead there. Beautiful. And hopefully, we got the magic 85 for this force, so that I can just walk straight on into the city. There's still some guys over here. Let's get over there. Cav. Focus on those billmen. There's a couple of them there. Get those guys, and they'll charge into this section. These uh, warriors should break. So turn back around. Oh, them down. And then let's adjust my infantry. Because the reinforcements are coming over this way. So let's get you guys to adjust here. Like this, Crossbows. Let's kind of adjust here as well. Or just like that. Captain, kind of pull back. Which king of Angmar, kind of back up as well. Got to scream again. Because we want. I uh, don't want you to fight, but you're kind of stuck. Scream there. And then my cav. Let's try and get you guys over here. Inventory is trying to get in as well around here, so just gonna yeah, just join on in. Help out. Wargs go for that forester unit, and some of them are already breaking. Hell yeah. Okay, get the foresters. Uh, eager. I wish I had a second tier unit of cow. Because that's the one thing I kind of dislike about uh, Isengard. We have great infantry, great skirmishers. Cav is absolute ass. Where we only have access to just the wargs. And the wargs are okay. Get the fuck out of here. I told you to get out of there. Only half the enemy force Why remains. are you still fighting here? Okay, infantry, get in there. Let's see. Uh, those forces are still alive. Back up. So these guys have a good charge. That's the only thing that these wargs have. They don't have good staying power. This guy's broke. Pull back to these foresters again. And then we'll go after these skirmishers once more. There we go. Enemy general is dead, so there goes the captain, and now they're running. We need to make sure we get the magic 85, though. So run these guys down. Should be good, I think. Okay. Oh, yeah, that, that's good. Yeah, we'll be able to walk straight on into this territory. And I'm hoping. Please that this is going to be an aggressive enough of an action that they'll pull away from the city they just started sieging. They might. They might not. We'll have to see. Because right now, at least, I'm sending reinforcements over. We are. We're doing, we, we've actually been able to take um, three cities today. Three cities have fallen. Uh, two against Dolan Roth, and then one against Endwraith. So we are making progress. If every video we take two to three uh, uh, cities, that is progress. Because uh, there's a maximum of, what, 199 uh, in Medieval 2. So, like, I am making progress. Gorilla Shard will now be mine. Now, the question is... They technically still border around Metroid, so... 
technically they have no reason to stop sieging there. But I have at least been able to push forward and take a bit more land today. So that that is good. As currently we have how many regions? We have 43 regions. Yeah, I'd hope we take more than two or three every video. Because, <laughs> oh my god, that would take... We, we were 150, we did take us 74, 75 more videos to uh, finish the campaign. I don't think it'll take us that long. Because once we start really rapidly expanding, then we it's going to just start increasing so much quicker. Because territorially right now... Like, let's see, so... That's probably like, what, 13 regions? 14 regions, probably. Yeah, I'd say 14 regions there. So, it looks like... So, 193 turns. Um, so, in 64 turns, it looks like I went from 14 regions to 40. So, that's 26 regions. 26 regions. So, on average, we are taking about... That's okay, a city every two and a half turns, roughly. That's not bad. We need to get it so it's a, a city every turn. I'm still growing faster than any other faction. So that that is something. But uh, I do think I'll be done for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, let me know down in the comments down below. I love hearing what you guys have to say about this campaign. Any thoughts about it in general? This is Rampant, and I'll see you guys next time. Roughly. That's not bad. We need to get it so it's a, a city every...